denying the importance of Jerry Richardson to sports here in the Queen City. Yeah, and reaction from former employees shows just that. The big cat, as he was known by many, Charlotte Sports Live's Mike Lissette joins us now. And Mike, you've been on the phones all day. Yeah, absolutely. And in addition to talking to people, I've also taken note of several online tributes. Ron Bear, the latest, uh, the last coach that Richardson ever hired, tweeted out this afternoon that he'd be forever grateful to his former boss, later adding condolences to the Richardson family. As far as broadcasters go, the last hire Richardson made was Mick Mixon back in 2005. We spoke to the former voice of the Panthers this afternoon, who told us he'll remember Richardson as a boss who really took the time to get to know his employees. While well, he says ultimately Richardson's legacy will be forever tied to his departure, it's important not to forget this guy was a Panther to the core. Well, it, it, he's the start of it all. I mean, we would not just think of all the parties, the tailgating, the cornhole, the, 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 the celebrations, the, the, the big games, the, the, the moments that have helped define our region, the moments that have attracted businesses to our region. The, I mean, people have moved here uh, to be close to their NFL team. And none of that would exist without, without Jerry Richardson. And coming up at 5, we'll have much more on Richardson's death. Former Panther Greg Olson released a video with his thoughts. We'll have that for you in an hour. Yeah, a lot of uh, players going to remember Jerry Richardson and much of the Panther staff. They're in Indianapolis this week for the NFL Combine. Sports director Will Kunkel joins us now from inside Lucas Oil Stadium. Yeah, and Will, a lot of those people probably worked with Richardson at some point or another. So what have you been hearing from the team as the news has gotten out this afternoon? Well, of course they're sad. I, someone like Stephen Drummond has been around Jerry Richardson for several years. Bruce Spate, their PR director, has been in and out of the building over a couple of different stints as well. I mean, we got to think about, like, we wouldn't have Charlotte Sports Live without someone like Jerry Richardson because he brought the NFL to the city of Charlotte. He changed the sports landscape in the Carolinas. And without him, we were not the home of the Panthers, of course. You know, what Jerry Richardson did cannot be overstated to be able to bring an NFL franchise to Charlotte. At the time, 25, nearly 30 years ago, Charlotte was not the hub that it is today and the major city that it is today. Back then, it was definitely a little bit of a, um, a shot, if you will, and it wasn't tough for him to achieve. And we started playing our football games down at Clemson. And what Jerry Richardson has done and the, the mood today at the Combine, it, frankly, is it's business as usual. Um, the Panthers are in meetings all day. They're scouting. They're talking to players, and they're talking to other general managers throughout the day, and they are booked uh, tight. So we haven't heard much from them directly today, guys, but we will certainly have a lot more tonight at 11 on Charlotte Sports Live because, again, we are the home of the Panthers, and without Jerry, that, none of that is possible. Yeah, Jerry, very well known around the league during his tenure as an owner and did a lot of work in labor relations, and that's what he was known for when he was the owner. All right, Will, we'll check back in with you.